Management is the name of the game on this edition of DoD TV. This edition of DoD TV is brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Every hunter has to admit that they love to hunt for those trophy bucks, but at the end of the day, general deer management is pretty dang important. I'm Taylor Drury, and on this week's Cutting Room Floor, we have not one, not two, but three hunts for you. That just rhymes. Let's start with Brother Wade because it's management time. I should have been up a little higher, but that's 
part. And that's part of it. Dang. Brother Wade was not the only one that was on a management mission because Uncle Terry, you're up next. So here we go. We, you know, we harvested a buck last night, but we're still in phase 10 green revisited. And we've got firearms uh, permits for some for some does. It's the antlerless season right here in Missouri. So Dylan's got some permits. I got permits. We're gonna just go have some fun with it tonight. We got the Winchester 20 gauge slug gun and uh, got the uh, dual bond 20 gauge shell. So we're just gonna go out and have a little fun this evening. Hopefully we'll get a doe or two in front of us, see, if, see what the gun will do tonight. Well, you know, sometimes access is 90% of the battle. And Dylan and John had done a bunch of burning in here this early spring. And I'll show you when we get over the hump here. Boy, do I love this stuff. It's awesome. Great, great thermal cover for deer when they're bedding. It's also a great way to hide yourself when you're, you're trying to access a stand. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's a neat way to get in and out without being detected. <laughs> that would be a half rack. Oh, that one broke off here we saw. You know, you were feeding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice fight. Isn't it? Yeah. several deer on the field here, but <laughs> they're all either spikes or buttons. And there's a, a half rack back in the timber all ways. And I think we're gonna have Dylan shoot the first one with the slug gun, the first doe that comes out. And we feel fairly confident we're gonna see one. I hope we will anyway. But we're gonna go ahead and change spots. Phase 10, green revisited. What can you say, the uh, biologic did the trick tonight. This is one of our better looking fields and uh, we were sitting in one of the new muddy blinds, which you can't say enough about those blinds. They're just a perfect box blind, you know, comfortable, they keep you easily hidden, the windows are great. But uh, we had to sit here a lot longer tonight than what we thought we would to kill a doe. But finally, this doe walked out and gave me a 50 yard broadside shot, the Winchester slug gun and the Winchester dual bond three inch uh, slugs did the job, stopped her dead in her tracks. The sun has finally peaked out. We had a bunch of, bunch of cloud cover the last few days, rain and all that sort of thing. And Mark even made a comment to Taylor yesterday. When the sun peaks out, he thought they'd be pretty productive today. So I'll be anxious to see what Mark and Taylor do today. But uh, we're gonna take the trusty little 20 gauge slug gun. Dylan killed a deer with it last night. And uh, hopefully we can maybe kill a doe here at Sydney.
this is a big, big, gigantic Missouri, Northern Missouri doe, and we had uh, that in mind. We're always conscious of trying to manage a doe herd, and we sat here for, I don't know, two and a half hours, I say, or something like that, and uh, she had a buck behind her, oddly enough, and just kind of nudging her, nudging her out there where she needed to get for us, and shot her out in front of the buck, but it worked out really good. That just goes to show you that a good hunt does not always mean that you're hunting those trophy bucks. We'll be back next week for another edition of The Cutting Room Floor, so don't forget to subscribe to our Jury Outdoors YouTube channel. I'm Taylor Jury, and this is DoD TV.